नाउ लेट एस डिस्कस अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू ग्रीडी मेथड ग्रीडी मेथड इज मेनली यूजफुल फॉर सॉल्विंग द ऑप्टिमाइजेशन प्रॉब्लम दट इज टू ऑप्टेन ऑप्टिमल सोल्यूशन सो बाई यूजिंग ग्रीडी मेथड वी कैन वी आर ऑप्टेनिंग द ऑप्टिमल सोल्यूशन ऑप्टिमल सोल्यूशन मीन्स बेस्ट सोल्यूशन सो आउट ऑफ ऑल द अवेलेबल सोल्यूशन इन आर डेट टू फाइंड द बेस्ट सोल्यूशन वी आर यूजिंग द ग्रीडी मेथड लेट्स वॉट इज ऑप्टिमल सोल्यूशन ए प्रॉब्लम विच प्रोड्यूसेस एधर मैक्सिमम और मिनिमम रिजल्ट सो विच में एधर मैक्सिमाइजेस और मिनिमाइजेस द रिजल्ट इफ यू टेक अबाउट कॉस्ट मिनिमाइजेशन ऑफ कॉस्ट is nothing but optimal solution less cost is nothing but optimal solution if you take profit maximum profit is nothing but optimal solution next point in greedy method the best decision is taken on the basis of current available information without worrying about the effect of the current decision in the future so there is no guarantee that we will get the best solution if we take this example this graph here a is the source whereas z is the destination if we take a to b a to c a to d cast 1 3 5 so out of all these three which is the best decision so one is least cast so this is the best decision so we have to take this decision now without worrying about the future whether this path will produces the correct result or not but if we take b from b to d the cost is 10 from t c to e the cost is 4 uh, from d to f the cost is 1 so this is not the best path but we should not worrying we should not worry about that so it is at every stage we always take the best decision okay so here there is no guarantee that this path will gives the best path this path will gives the best solution so we have to find all the available solutions so out of all the available solutions we need to take the best decision best solution optimal solution next point any problem satisfies some constraints so for every problem we will have some constraints so let us take an example here we three persons are participating in a competition so they are developing some c program so p1 for that program so p1 is typing 100 lines so p1 is uh, p1 need 100 lines of code next to p2 50 lines of code next to p3 is using 150 lines of code for solving that problem so 2 seconds for uh, executing this program so p1 is taking 2 seconds for executing this program next to 3 seconds 5 seconds uh, uh, let us assume that here we have some errors so here we have some errors so here the constant is nothing but the program has to execute without producing any errors so here the constant is it should not produce any errors it should not produce any errors it has to produce the correct output so that is the constant here so any problem satisfies some constraints a problem may have many number of solutions these solutions are called as feasible solutions feasible solution satisfies the constraints so here we have uh, three persons are developing the program but only first person program as well as second person program only these two programs are executing so we can say that these two solutions are called as feasible solutions so feasible solution is nothing but the set of all the available solutions so we have one feasible solution second feasible solution a feasible solution must satisfies the constraints here what are the constraints here Th there should not be any errors and it has to execute it has to produce the correct output so these two are the constraints so these two programs are satisfying those constraints so next point among all the feasible solutions the best decision will be selected which is called as the optimal solution we need to find a feasible solution which maximizes or minimizes the objective function okay uh, so here the point is we will have several feasible solutions 
out of all the feasible solutions, the best solution will be selected. That solution is called as optimal solution. So here the optimal solution either maximizes or minimizes the objective function. So if you take the cost, so here the objective function is minimizing the cost. If you take the profit, objective function is maximizes the profit. Okay. So if you take this example, so here we have two objective functions. If you consider number of lines, if you take number of lines, then which is the optimal solution? So P1, 100 lines, P2, 50 lines. So less number of lines, 50. So we can say that P2 program is the, P2 solution is the best solution. Whereas assumes that objective function is number of seconds. So how much time does the person require for executing that program? So P1 requires only 2 seconds for executing that program. P2 requires 3 seconds. So if objective function is time, then we can say that this P1 program is the best program. Okay. Uh, so here the point is here we have constraint as well as objective function. Feasible solution must satisfy the constraints. Whereas optimal solution, optimal solution must maximize or minimize the objective function. And let us take general method or control abstraction or algorithm for the greedy method. So here we are using algorithm keyword. Next name of the algorithm is greedy and it accepts two parameter a comma n. So a is nothing but n array. Totally we will have n elements. So next to solution equal to pi. So initially solution doesn't contains any value. So that's why solution equal to pi. So pi means 0. Next for i equal to 1 to n do. So here the array contains some elements. So here we for repetition purpose we are using the for loop. Next statement x equal to select of a. This select function removes selects an element from the array. First element from the array removes the first element from the array and stores that element in x. Next, if feasible of solution comma x. So by adding x to the solution, if it is feasible solution, if it is a feasible solution, by adding x to the solution, if it is feasible solution, then that x will be added to the solution. So feasible is a function which checks whether by adding x to the solution, whether we are getting feasible solution or not. What is feasible solution? It should satisfy the constraints. So if it is a feasible solution, then solution equal to solution union within the curly braces x. So that means that element x will be added to the solution. If it is a feasible solution, then that element will be added to the solution. Suppose if that uh, by adding x, if it is not a feasible solution, then that x won't be added to the solution. The next element will be considered. Okay. So by adding x to the solution, if it is feasible, then that x will be added to the solution. Suppose by adding x to the solution, uh, assumes that it is not a feasible solution, then simply we have to ignore that x. Next, let us perform the operation on the next element. Next, uh, after the for loop, return the solution. Return the solution. So that feasible solution will be returned. So this is nothing but Algorithm for the greedy method. Okay. Now let us see about the uh, here. This is one feasible solution. So likewise, we will find uh, a number of feasible solutions. So out of all the feasible, feasible solutions, one solution will be selected. The bestest solution is nothing but optimal solution. Now let us see the applications of the greedy method. So totally we have six applications. First one is knapsack problem. Second one is minimum cost spanning tree. So we have Krim's algorithm and uh, Kruskal algorithm in order to find the minimum cost spanning tree. Next, job sequencing with deadlines, optimal storage on tapes, optimal merge pattern, and the last one is single source shortest path algorithm. That is nothing but disk extra algorithm. This is about introduction to greedy method.